Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to share with you uh, the other um, uh, demos. So let's start it. So yeah, so for today's demo, you will see um, you can draw on the canvas uh, using your hand. Uh, pretty much it's using Mixturality, Unity, and Quest, uh, Meta Quest uh, SDK. So yeah, so let's start. So before we dive in, uh, please support us on Patreon. Uh, Patreon, uh, we pretty much put all the source code uh, um, uh, inside Patreon. So if you are interested in getting source code, uh, please support us. And also um, uh, we have different tiers, uh, the highest tiers, uh, which allows you to unlock the Zoom link uh, to be in the same Zoom with us. So um, please support us on Patreon. The other thing I want to mention is that I'm preparing uh, to publish a book called uh, Breaking 2D Paradigms, uh, Spatial Design. So yeah, so right now I'm still writing it uh, pretty much uh, on February 17th, I will publish this book. So uh, if you are interested, uh, feel free to also to uh, uh, purchase this book and uh, read it. In this book, I share 10 principles of um, uh, of the uh, spatial design that must know. So yeah, so if you're interested in learning about the spatial design, uh, please uh, purchase this book. This book on Kindle, on Kindle version, it will launch on February 17th. As for a book, and also audio version, it will be launched a little bit later. So yeah, we will inform you once it's published. Okay, so let's start it. Okay, so if you get in, I want to share with you uh, how I create it. If you want to watch the live demo, you can go to the LinkedIn Live. Pretty much I shared the LinkedIn Live there. Okay, so... Um, uh, what you what you want to do is go to the uh, Meta SDK and go to Tools. And there are different uh, building blocks. Uh, what I did was I add camera rig, pass through, and also hand tracking and the synthetic hands. So those are the main uh, ways for you to create. And the other thing is that I create a whiteboard. Whiteboard, the way I create a whiteboard is that uh, I create a plan. And I make that plan uh, with the default materials and it has the mesh renderer. And on the whiteboard, I attach a whiteboard script and also I create a marker, which serves as a manager. Uh, on, on top of it, I create a whiteboard draw, which allows uh, the uh, player to draw um, um, the colors on top of the screen. Uh, on top of the, the canvas and the canvas will update its textures every frame. So on the tips of this finger, I attach uh, a cube and this cube allows me to uh, draw uh, all the kind of like a, a smooth lines on the canvas and that canvas will detect the color of the cube and also the ray shooting of the cube and start remapping the colors on top of the textures every screen. So this, this script is very expensive because it allows um, the, the textures to keep rendering. So it's an expensive script. Okay, so that's start. So uh, once you add all the building blocks, you need to dive in. So let me kind of walk you through you need to, if you are left hand, you can go to left hand, but the name is pretty much the same. You go to synthetic right hand and go down and go to the uh, the right, uh, kind of like the thumb, the wrist, right? Go to the wrist and then you need to go here, um, the index, index one and then right index finger tip. Um, I pretty much put this Q here. Okay, so this cube, I attach the material, which I put the material is great. Okay, so this is uh, the previous preset up. And the whiteboard, which is the plane, pretty much you can attach the white 
things and the texture size, you can put 1024, 10, 1024. Okay, so let's start. So I will walk you through the code. Yeah, those are the code that is working. So I will quickly walk you through the code. And if you are interested, uh, feel free to support us for all the, um, uh, to access all the source code. And so you can just plug in to your script or your build and uh, you can run successfully once uh, you kind of get the source code. Okay, so let's start. So there are two scripts. One is whiteboards, another one is whiteboard drawers. So whiteboards, uh, pretty much you can, uh, it's attached on uh, the whiteboard, which is the plan that we just create. So this script will attach to this board. So this board, uh, pretty much I put uh, the texture 2D, I wanna have a texture. And the second thing is that I wanna uh, kind of put the texture size of it. So I wanted to put 1024, 1024. If you put a higher number, it will increase the resolution. So it's pretty much mapping 1024 dots or pixels on this screen. So um, you can change the uh, kind of like the size of it. Okay, so at the starting point, I, what I wanna do is I wanna get the uh, rendering component um, this and also I want to start uh, putting the textures and the textures will be the texture size. So this textures will be 1024, 1024. And I want to get the material textures on top of it. Okay, so this code needs to be attached to the whiteboard. So if you go to whiteboard, you can see the whiteboard. I attach this code. So, um, and the maker, what I do is uh, whiteboard draw. So this maker will pretty much draw everything, every frame, like update all the textures, every frame. So we define the uh, whiteboard. Then now we wanna do the whiteboard draw. So uh, first thing we wanna put a series of transform. Uh, position from the tip. So this is a position actually. Serialized form is the uh, kind of like allows you to um, insert the kind of like the where you are, uh, where you want to refer to the actual game object. So what we do this is that we make it private, but if we use serialized fields, we, it allows us to drag and drop. Uh, so um, what I did was I put this cube, which is the hands cube, this uh, green cube. I put on the tips, so this will be the cube tip. A pen size, which is the how big you want it is. So if you want it 50, it will be a, a big one. But if you want to make it like a very small one, you can uh, reduce the size. And whiteboard. Uh, you can attach this whiteboard to here. So pretty much you can uh, do different size of it. So uh, pen size, you can do 50. Um, I think my default is five, but uh, if you put on the, um, the interface, I think the interface will prioritize. So um, 50 will be the final output. So what we need to do is to get a render and we wanna get the color. Um, and we want to get the tip high, which is which means it's the ray. Uh, it's the, the ray that's shooting. Uh, uh, the distance of the ray shoot. Okay, so this is the whiteboard that we are going to attach. Uh, and we are going to shoot a ray. And then, yeah, and then this whiteboard is, means that this is the... Uh, class whiteboards. Oh, so this is the script. So whiteboard, whiteboards. So this will be the the, the script name. And uh, this will be position. And this will be the last touch position. So we have the current one and we 
we have a current one and we have the latest one. So there will be a, we will put a verb uh, for the, and within the time for the, the pen to uh, move smoothly. So uh, we also put a bool to make sure that uh, we later on we can kind of set up uh, false and true so we won't run too many times. Okay, starting point. So at the beginning, what we want is to get the color from the render from the tip of the cube. So uh, so this is the, the, the cube and we want to get the materials of the render. And then later on, we want to create this color and this color, we want to make it uh, more like a squarish. So we, uh, for example, our pen size is five, right? Or 50, 50. So um, see what pen size you want. Uh, and uh, this will uh, draw the pen size gray. Oh, is the other one. Pen size gray, and we want to make it a ray. So it will look grayish. Tip height. So what we want to do is what size is the height of the tip. And then this tip height will be, at the end, will be the the shooting rate distance. Uh, we are going to put the shooting rate distance. So, which means that our ray will be uh, whatever you put this number, it will be the 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 ray. So it's the uh, kind of like a, it allows you to kind of have a little bandwidth for for you to draw uh, the canvas, the touching point of the can canvas. Okay, the right whiteboard whiteboard. What we want is to get uh, white. Words, uh, which is the the code of this is the whiteboards. So we want to get this uh, the script. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna put a physics ray cast. We wanna start with shooting a ray uh, from a position, and we uh, our direction will be tips uh, dot top dot top dot up which means that it's a Y position. So if you see the this one, this one, so this is up, this is Y. So uh, pretty much we want this drawing direction or shooting rate is from this direction and we'll shoot this direction. And tip height is the distance for the ray to shoot. So we want like uh, the shoot is uh, equivalent as the uh, y uh, as the cube size. Okay. So if um if this is touching the position is touching the whiteboard, uh, please start rendering things. So if the whiteboard is not no, which means that if the whiteboard is exist, then start putting uh, start uh, adding the uh, this. This rendering on top of this whiteboard. Okay, so compare tag. So on the uh, whiteboard, we need to add a, a tag. So if you see this whiteboard, we put a whiteboard on the tag. Okay, so as for touch points, we want this touch points is equivalent as the coordinator of the texture. So uh, for touch points, uh, this is just the touch points uh, in uh, for the for the cube uh, in the world position, but we want to transfer from this position to coordinate uh, to the texture. So we want to transfer this cube position uh, uh, to uh, um, the texture uh, point. So we need this code. And this one is to make sure that uh, this is within uh, kind of like the uh, the frame. So uh, this this call uh, means that uh, the position and the size we want to make sure it's the um, kind of like within the the, uh, the 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 box or within the canvas. So this is the canvas size. So if y is smaller or y is larger or uh, this is or either X, which means that Y is outside of frame or X is outside of frame, please return. We don't want to execute, execute anything. But if it is within the frame, then let's start, uh, uh, start drawing. So whiteboard.texture set pixels, X, Y, um, and uh, this is uh, 
uh, texture 2D Z pixels. So this is X, Y, and pan size. So we want to set the position of X, Y, and also uh, put the pan size of the width and height. And then we want to start drawing the color, and the color will be the, uh, the cube color. For this code, it start rendering. So uh, F, right? So this will start increment because um, for loop, right? So this one, and if this is uh, smaller than one, and it start increment. So it means that um, um, it, 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 it will start incrementingly to start uh, tracking from the latest position to the uh, from the earliest position to the latest position. So if you see this latest touch position, and this is the more like the the before. Uh, so every one second, we will start running uh, detect detecting uh, this this path, and this is the time. Okay. So whiteboard uh, texture set pixels. So we want uh, this. This trail from X and Y position, and we want to set up the the, the square size, and also we want to set up that. So we want this texture to keep applying every every um, every one point zero point zero one uh, frame. Okay, so um, we want to make sure uh, the last touch position is. Uh, the vector x, y, uh, which means that uh, this one latest, the, the latest position is keep update and the original one will stay there. So it will start drawing the uh, lerp, the position, start drawing it and start every single dots. And later on, we want to set it true. Um, at the beginning, it was false. And later on, once it run the first time, it become true and it go back. And uh, we have false uh, at the beginning. So it prevents it uh, running to um, keep running yet. So it will have jog. So we want just like after this, the, the, this running through and we set it true and uh, we go back and it said it false. And we, uh, after running it, uh, and uh, it's set false again. So we kind of want this to, uh, false is to prevent um, this being hit all the time. So this has the false protection and inside is kind of like keeping, uh, keep running and running again. Okay, so this is uh, kind of the, the, the um, entire code. Once you have the entire code, uh, feel free to kind of just attach to it. So whiteboard, um, you can attach whiteboards to here and the markers. Markers means that it's the parent of the entire thing. So it's it serves a high level thing. So you can uh, drag the cube to make sure that you got the um, rendering color and also the positions. Uh, and uh, we 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 have a uh, we have it as uh, the the position of shooting the ray. So this tips is very important. And also we want to drag in the whiteboard so we know which one to um, um, uh, draw and the textures of the whiteboard will keep up to date. Okay, so this is the entire demo. And once you finish it, you can, uh, you can run it, you can build it and you will see this, uh, you will have a hand and the, and the square will keep following uh, the, um, yeah, the, the hand will keep following, uh, uh, the, the, the charcoal will keep following the hand and uh, whatever you, where, wherever you touch it, you will see um, the drawing trail. And this one is kind of the next one that I will teach you how to do the pokeball items using block, uh, building blocks. And also I will teach you, uh, uh, we can dip on uh, different colors and you can draw and the color will be different colors. Okay, thank you. And if you want uh, the 
the source code, please support us on Patreon. So uh, you can get all the source codes by uh, supporting us. Cool. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.